Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Another day kayaking here around Oak Island. Um, we're kind of in a weird weather pattern right now. We've had a bunch of rain. Today's the second day it hasn't rained, and it's going to start again tomorrow. So it's kind of weird. Our water is extremely dirty from all the rain that we've been getting. I went out yesterday. I fished eight hours and really didn't catch a whole lot of anything. So I'm in a whole different area than I was yesterday. And we'll see whether I can put anything on the boat or not. Hopefully I can. Hopefully it's good fish. Obviously I want reds and trout. That way I can take them home. Wouldn't be upset about flounder. Can't keep them, but they're still fun to catch. Cool for y'all to see them. So let's stay tuned and let's see what we can get on the boat. Baby, stay painted. Feels decent. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah, there we go. Come on. Dang. It's got to be a flounder. It is. All right. Oh, I side hooked him. Well, skunk is off the boat, so I will take it. Definitely not what we're looking for today because we can't keep them, but. I fished all day yesterday and I got nothing. So starting off with the flounders, not too bad. Come on, come on dummy. Hey, hey, come on, settle down, settle down. Knock it off, stupid. All right. Come here. Oh, jeez. You're just going to see the camera, and then you're going back in. All right, so there we go. He's maybe 12 inches at that, but nothing too big. But it's a start anyway. Oh, yeah, there's one there. There we go. Heck, yeah. That feels pretty good. Let's see, I got this guy on the mud minnow. I mean, he doesn't feel like no stud or nothing, but feels like a decent little fish. I can't. Yeah, big old Kroger. Well, I wasn't quite expecting that. Not on a mud minnow, but... That's still pretty decent size right there. So, hey, two fish in the boat so far. Been out here half an hour or something like that. So I'll take it, see if we can get any more. <laughs> oh, did y'all see that? <laughs> Ooh, what a little acrobatic fellow here. What do we got? Oh, it's a blue fish. That's why. <laughs> that dude almost jumped clean in the boat, man. That was crazy. 
Not a bad sized bluefish either. All right, dummy, get in here. Now don't bite me. All right. Here we go. Hey. Oh, there you go. You even spit the hook for me. Good. I ain't gonna get you near your teeth. All right. Let's see if I can get a hold of this dude. There we go. Little bluefish for y'all. Something a little different. We're on a multi-species kind of day today, man. We got flounder, croaker, and bluefish so far. So nothing that we can take home and eat, but we're sliming up the boat. All right, y'all, we're hooked up on something else again. What do we got? Oh, another little baby flounder. That'd be all right. Nothing wrong with catching these guys. All right, come here, buddy. I don't be going all crazy like all your other brothers do. So stay calm. Let's get you out of here. I'll take some pictures of you. Show you off to the camera. And you get to go home, man. Man, he choked that thing too. Whew. Hopefully I can get this out of there. Hey, hey. Simmer. Simmer. Well, that was easy enough. All right, flounder number two for the day. Same deal, he's not very big. Probably the size as the other one, right about 12 inches, something like that. But it's uh, flounder number two, fish number four for the day. So we'll get him back. All right, let's get him back in the water so he can grow up. And then hopefully in September, he'll be big enough to keep and I can find him all over again. So not too bad. Flounder number two for the day. So let's get. All right, finally hooked up again. Man, yeah, something small. What is it? All right. So y'all tell me. I've caught this before. One of my last videos. And I know the picture of it wasn't real good. I had some fog or water spots on the camera or whatever. You guys tell me what these things are. I think I think they're a sand perch is what they are but I'm not 100% sure on that I mean he's just a little guy but let me know what y'all think that is leave it down in the comments below of what your guess is mine's a sand perch but I have no clue whether that's right or wrong or whatever so maybe somebody watching this can uh, give me the correct answer on that one all right y'all here we go we are hooked up sorry i didn't get the hook up on camera now yeah. hold on there's an airplane have the camera rolling fishing's been slow and honestly my camera keeps telling me it's overheating whenever I leave it just going so I've been trying to leave it off so I can't so that way I don't miss anything but doing it this way I miss the hookup so it is what it is we'll get it all figured out eventually hey simmer down buddy hey hey simmer down simmer down simmer down simmer down There we go, flounder number three for the day. He's probably the biggest one. He's maybe 13, 14 inches, um, which still would be too small to keep if they was in season, but they're not, so we'll have to let this guy go. All right, let's get this guy back. He came in at 13.25 inches, and he's gone. So, like I said, too small to keep even if it was in season, but they're not, as always. But not too bad though. What what I say? That's flounder number three for the day. So you know, pretty decent day so far. We'll take it. Baby. Oh baby. Oh, oh shit. What do I got? Oh, it's still on there. Good. I got something good here. What do we got? Oh yeah. Listen to that drag. Listen to that drag, baby. That's got to be a red. It's gotta be a red. Oh, 
<laughs> and that ain't no YouTube drag right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I ain't got nothing for this dude. I just hope this is not a stingray. No, oh, he broke. Oh, that sucks. Well, and I say, did he break or did he pull the hook? What happened here? What happened? fish that was my one chance today I know it is crap all right here we go we're hooked up on the Carolina rig Let's see what we got doesn't feel like it's anything too big but what is that thing yeah it's a trout wow wasn't quite expecting that on a Carolina rig I mean, it's a little guy but still Hey, 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 simmer down, buddy. Simmer down. You look like you're too small to keep anyway. So let's double check. You're pretty thin. Let's see what you go. I bet you're about 12. Yeah. 11 and a half. So there you go. A little speckled trout. About 11, 12 inches, something like that. So there we go. There you go, buddy. All right, well, I mean, that doesn't make up for that giant whatever the heck I just lost. That one's a heartbreaker. There ain't no doubt about it. I think that had to have been a redfish. I've never caught a stingray on soft plastics before, so that just had to be a massive red, and I just panicked and tightened that drag down way too much and popped him. I should have just let him play it out, keep that drag halfway kind of loose. And Nope, I'm a big old dummy. So we lost it and we got that little trout. All right, hooked up on the uh, Carolina rig again. This one at least feels a little bit better. It's got a lot of head shakes in it. Another trout. Wow. Dang, I was not expecting back-to-back -back trouts on that, but... Dang. Oh, 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 man, I got lucky on that one. This looks like the same dude I just caught. Look at this guy. Hold on here. Let me measure him real quick. I'm pretty sure he's short. Yeah, he's another 12 inches. <laughs> this dude looks like the last one I just showed you. Look like he swam right back to that same exact spot and uh, took my minute again. <laughs> hey, whatever works, I guess uh, I guess I'll go ahead and take it. So that's trout number two now. like a trout uh, yeah another little trout all right get in here dummy and there goes the hook he is by far the smallest of the three so far but we'll go ahead and take it hey simmer down man simmer down hey simmer 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 come here buddy you gotta smile and then you're going back in all right that's all you gotta do just smile. You ain't got to try to bite me, nothing like that. But yeah, just a little guy. He's maybe 8 or 10 inches, something like that. But um, So yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. We're getting close to being done for the day anyway, so 
any uh, any fish I can catch at this point, they're all bonuses for me. So, trout number three. All right, y'all. That's gonna wrap it up for the day. Overall, not too bad. Three flounder, three trout, bluefish, croaker, whatever that one was I caught earlier. I think it's a sand perch. Let me know know down below what you think it is. And man, the heartbreak in losing that big fish. I'm not for sure what that was. Let me know down below what you think. I personally think it was a big red. Um, stingrays will run like that, but I caught him on a soft plastic, so I can't imagine it's a stingray. Maybe it was a shark, I don't know. So you guys let me know down below. We'll never know, but man, that one is, um, whenever it's kind of been a little bit slow fishing like that and you get your one opportunity and I'm the one that screwed that up. It happens. It's part of fishing, right? So um, I appreciate everybody tuning in as always. If this is stuff you like, please consider subscribing. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, as I always say, give me two thumbs down. That way I know you really did not like it. But until the next one, remember it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice.